Hello guys, this is Fusionforge, and this is going to be the final video of the Onshape tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to make a light bulb in Onshape using splines. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we do anything, make sure that your workspace units are set to millimeters. And then start a sketch on the top plane using Shift S. And then use Shift 5 to go to the top view. Press C to make a circle from the origin up with a diameter of 44 millimeters. Now that you've confirmed that, press Shift 7 and then press Shift E to go to extrude. We want to extrude this cir uh, circle with a surface extrusion, which is unlike a solid extrusion, only going to extrude the line itself. And unlike a thin extrusion, it will extrude primarily curved lines. Now we want this extrusion to have a depth of 44 millimeters and then confirm. Now we want to start a helix on this face right here with a target revolutions of two. Start angle should be zero and both of these conditions and condition should be height, start condition should be angle and then confirm. Now go up to plane and make sure that you have selected a curve point plane. Press on the helix top point and then the helix itself to make a plane that looks exactly like this one right here and then confirm. Now go back to helix and then make another helix like you did before but for this one the start angle should be 180 degrees. It should look something like this. Now go up here go down here and then click on the 3d fit spline. What this spline will do is that it will create a malleable line between between two points. So what and the selection of these two points is very important. So remember to select the first helix's endpoint first and then the second helix's endpoint last. And then for the start direction make sure to click on the first plane. Make sure that this curve right here is for the first is a continuation of the first helix and then confirm. Now create a offset plane using this top plane right here with it being an offset of 18 millimeters but instead of going up it needs to go down and then confirm. Now start a sketch on this offset plane. Press C to make a circle and then press Shift 5 to go directly to the top view. The circle should have a diameter of 6.4 millimeters. And then it should have a construction line from the center of the circle to the origin with a distance of 8 millimeters. And then going directly to the right, having the horizontal constraint, it does not matter what the length of this line is. Now press D for dimensioning, zoom in, click on both of these lines, and then make sure that the distance between them is set to 60 degrees. Now confirm. Now that you have this, finish your sketch, press shift 7 to go down here. Now zoom in and hide the surface right here. Go up to 3D fit spline, start a spline from this point at the end of the curve to the middle of the circle. For the start direction, select plane 1. For the end direction, select plane 2. And then switch the directions to both face outwards. Make sure that your line functions exactly like mine does right here, and then confirm. Now zoom out, and then start a sketch using Shift S. Front, and for the sketch plane, we want to pick the right plane right here. Press L to make a line from the cent uh, center point right here down. It does not matter what the length of this line is, and then confirm the sketch. Now go up here and click on the circular pattern feature to pattern this feature right here, for the axis of pattern, select this line that we just created, 
For the instant count, you want it to be 2. For the angles, you want it to be 360. And then confirm. Now, show sketch number 2. And then use the sweep function using this circle as the sweep face. And as for the path, click on these he this helix. Exactly as I'm doing, please, please do not mess up the selection, the order of the selection. Now that you've selected it exactly like this, confirm. And now you can start a sketch on plane 3 or plane 2. Press shift 6 to go to the bottom view. Press P to hide all planes and then zoom in. Now press U for projection and then project both of the bottom faces for each of these circles. Now use the O short key to use the offset function to offset both of these circles by a value of 2 millimeters. Now that you've done this, press C and then start a sketch on the origin with a value of 32 millimeters in diameter. Then press Shift 7 and then confirm your sketch. Now press Shift E and then extrude just these off sets right here. We don't want a surface extrusion, we want a solid extrusion. We want it to be set to new. And for the and you might need to reselect these features. Make sure instead of add, it's set to new. For the depth, make sure it's set to two millimeters. Now, confirm your sketch. And then, show sketch number four. Use orbit feature to look down. Press shift E to extrude and then extrude the entirety of sketch number four. Now we want it to extrude the other way. If it didn't extrude the inside, make sure to select all of these insides because we want this to be a solid image without any holes. This might be a, li a little difficult because if you see me confirm the sketch, this circle, for some reason, is seen as a different part than the rest of this. So, re-click on this, hide sketch 2, because you know you may accidentally be extruding the face of sketch 2. So go back down here, click to confirm this sketch, then confirm. Press Shift 7 again to go into an isometric view. And then use the, cha the chamfer feature. So the chamfer feature is going to be right here. What it does is it functions exactly like the, uh, the fillet feature, but instead of adding a curve, it just files down the actual material. So we want this measurement to be offset with a distant, with a equal distance chamfer of two millimeters. Confirming that. And then we wanna fillet the bottom of this extrusion using shift F. And we want to fillet it by six millimeters. Now extrude the remaining circle by 18 millimeters. then confirm, then chamfer this bottom part right here by 4 millimeters, and here you are. Here is your light bulb. Now we want to hide the sketch, and now we want to color these parts. 
So we want to color this helix right here is going to be a whatever color of yellow you prefer. And then what we want to color all four, all three of these parts right here is going to be some sort of gray or white or red or whatever you would like. And here is how to make a light bulb in Onshape. Thank you for sticking with me throughout this entire series. Please like and subscribe and please have a good day.